making wooden gears with the router. Hi, I'm going to show you how to make wooden gears with a router. Basically, this method uses a hardboard template and flush trim bit to cut the teeth. The only restriction is the space between the gear teeth must be large enough to accommodate the size of the flush trim bit. With a little experimentation, you should be able to generate a pattern for your gear. This particular example has 10 teeth. In addition to the profile pattern, you'll need an index pattern or tooth position pattern. I've opted for index lines generated by a CAD program. And here I just have 10 index lines uh, equally positioned around a center. Cut the paper patterns to rough size. I like to use scotch spray adhesive on the back of the patterns because it lets me remove the patterns later on with a bit of acetone and some elbow grease. Stick the gear pattern to a piece of hardboard. Cut it out to this approximate shape, making sure you leave the center and two adjacent teeth showing. Drill a hole at the base of the two teeth that will be used for clearance when the gears mesh. In my case, I didn't have a perfect size drill bit, so I drilled a tad smaller. I'll adjust the contour later. You can remove most of the waste material with the same bit. With a sharp chisel, cut away the waste. As you get near the profile, take finer and finer cuts. Cut with the chisel vertical and try to just cut away the black line. Sand the profile nice and smooth. Drill a center hole for the shaft. Be as accurate as you can get it and hold on to the drill bit because you'll be needing it in future steps. Stick the index pattern to a piece of half inch birch plywood. Drill a gear center hole with the same drill bit that you use for the hardwood profile. Next we're going to make a drill guide. Get a scrap of 3 quarter inch plywood, hardwood, or MDR, not softwood. Score a line down the approximate middle. Extend the line around the end. To make the end line more visible, I dip my utility knife in ink and drag it down the score line. Start in the middle and drag towards the edge. Decide on a place where you want to put the index hole. Now a word about this. It really doesn't matter where you put the index hole, but the farther apart you put the index hole from the center, the more accurate this thing's going to be. It's like a uh, pistol versus a uh, rifle. 
So I decided to put the index hole out on a gear tooth, which is uh, the farthest you can get it from the center. In the guide block, mark and drill a through hole with the gear shaft pit. Using the gear shaft drill bit as a pin, align the profile to the drill guide block. Using a small diameter drill bit Drill the profile and guide block together. Pin the drill guide to the gear with the gear shaft drill bit. Align the end mark on the guide with one of the index marks on the gear. This must be precisely accurate. Double check after clamping the work to the drill press. Make sure the drill bit moves freely in the guide block. Set your depth stop to about 80% of the gear thickness. Repeat the align and drill process for the rest of your teeth. Pin the profile to your gear using your two drill bits. I like to use a trim bit that has the bearing on the end. When you mount it in the router table, it gives you a little bit more protection since the cutters don't stick out above the work. With a forstner bit, take away some of the waste. Just be careful not to get too close to the profile. Set your router height. It should be just a hair above the gear surface. While routing, press down on the profile. Remove the paper with acetone and a plastic scraper.